Hello students, welcome to Sort of Fresh Classes. So in this video, we are going to solve the GATE 2019 question paper, and in this paper, we are going to solve the statistics portion, and we will be starting from a question that we left in our last video, which will be question number four. So question four says a fair die is rolled two times independently. So here we are rolling a die two times and the both the times we are rolling it independently so both the outcomes will be independent of each other now given that the outcome on the first roll is one okay so we have been given that the outcome on the first roll that we have rolled the die the outcome is one now the expected value of the sum of the two outcomes is so we need to find the expected value of the sum of the two outcomes which uh, the first outcome is one we need to find the second outcome outcome and we need to find the sum of both so let us first take the events x1 will be the outcome on the first roll of the on the first roll which have been given the value is 1 and x2 will be outcome on the second roll which we need to find and then we need to sum so basically what we need is expectation of x1 plus x2 given that x1 is equal to 1. So basically this is what we need to find. The expectation here we you can see expected value of the sum of the two outcomes. So here we have the expected value of the sum of the two outcomes where given that the outcome on the first roll is 1. So given that the outcome on the first roll that is x1 is equal to 1. So simply what we can do over here is we can simplify break this we have x1 so what we can do is we can break this into two parts where we have expectation of x1 uh, given that x1 equal to 1 and expectation of x2 given that expectation of x1 is equal to 1 so here we have expectation x2 given x1 so the second part we have taken first x2 given x1 plus expectation of here we have x1 where x1 is equal to 1 so simply we can write x1 and we can write this as x2 given x1 plus 1 because obviously expectation of x1 will be 1. So here we have here we'll have not expectation of x1 but just the x1 because expectation of x1 given x1 will give us x1 and the value of x1 here is 1. So you can see the value of x1 here is equal to 1. So here we have expectation of x2 given x1 plus 1. Now in that case you can see that uh, die is rolled two times independently. So what does independently mean that any value of x1 will not affect the value of x2. So whatever the value of x1 is uh, the x2 value will not be affected. So simply we can write this as x2 plus 1. We can omit the given part that x1 has been given because it does not matter whether x1 has been given or not because both the events are happening independently. So here simply we will have expectation of x2 plus 1. Now what is expectation of x2? So how do we find the expectation of x2? So let us check what are the possible outcomes of x2 event. So outcome on the second roll. x2 is outcome on the second roll. So what are the possible options? We can have 1, 2, 3. 4, 5 or 6. So these 6 are the possible outcomes on the second roll because we are rolling a die and the total number of outcomes is 6. Total number of outcomes is 6. So how do we find the expectation? Simply expectation what we can do is we can sum up the possible outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So here we will have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 whole divided by 6 and lastly we have 1. So what we will find over here is this will be 6, 10, 15, 21. 21 by 6 plus 1. So 21 by 6 is uh, 3.5 plus 1 which will give us 4.5. So the answer to this question that is uh, the expected value of the sum of the two outcomes will be 4.1. So you can see in the options, option number B has an option which is 4.1. So obviously option B will be the correct answer to this question. So our answer is option number B. Now moving on to the next question of this question paper, we'll solve question number 8 here. So question number 8 says, let x1 
and x to be a random sample drawn from okay x1 till xn so we are drawing n random samples from a population with pdf fx comma theta is equal to theta x to the power theta minus 1 so here we are talking about a random sample which are drawn from a pdf a population whose pdf is theta x to the power theta minus 1 where x lies between 0 to 1 and theta is a positive number now the maximum likelihood estimator of theta is so what we need to find is we need to simply find mle of theta that is the maximum likelihood value of theta or we can say just the theta cap so we need to find the value of this so what we need to do for this is we need to differentiate the function that the pdf twice and let's check whether it is maximum or minima so the function over here is x theta and the function is theta x to the power theta minus 1 so what we can write over here is since we need to consider all the random samples from 1 to n so what we will do over here is x comma theta so we, we, we need to multiply this the function we need to multiply n times so theta multiplied n times will give us theta to the power n and x so this is the multiplication sign similar to uh, the summation so this will be from i going from 1 till n and x i theta minus 1 so we have multiplied all the x i's to the power theta minus 1 from 1 to n so now what we need to do is we need to differentiate this function and for differentiating we can simply differentiate but before differentiating what we can do is we can put log both the sides mle has this property that if we use log both the sides it makes the differentiation very easy so what we'll do is we'll put log of the function and in the right hand side also we'll put log on whole the this whole function and we'll get log theta to the power n so this will give us n log theta the first function here log theta to the power n will give us n log theta plus now as you can see all these xi's are multiplied with each other and in log if we uh, put log on anything since we are putting log on x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 the resultant value will be log x1 plus log x2 plus log x3 so what we can do over here is we are putting log where x i is equal to 1 to 3 x i so this is what we are doing and in multiplication after putting log what we get is we get summation log x i where i is equal to 1 2 3 so this is what we get if we put log on a multiplication uh, term we will get the term in summation format so this will be simply summation ln x i to the power theta minus 1 i is equal to 1 till n so this is what we get after putting log so as you can see theta minus 1 is in the power of x i which is multiplied with log so this will come outside and this will be theta minus 1 summation ln x i so this is what we have got now what we can do is simply differentiate this so differentiating this part with respect to theta here with respect to theta and we are differentiating the function x theta we get n log theta so this will be n is a constant n will come outside and log theta differentiation of log theta will give us 1 by theta so this is n by theta plus again we have summation ln xi constant and we will differentiate x uh, theta minus 1 so differentiating theta minus 1 will get differentiation of theta is 1 and minus differentiation of 1 is 0 so basically simply 1 so this is n by theta plus summation ln xi now again we have differentiated this once now what we'll do is we'll differentiate this again so differentiating this twice so this is second derivative with respect to theta and here we will get n by theta so this will be minus of n by theta square because n will be constant and we have theta to the power minus 1 so differentiation of theta to the power minus 1 is minus 1 theta to the power minus 2 so this is simply 1 by theta square so this is what i have written minus n by theta square and as you can see this is obviously a negative value because you can see n cannot be a negative number and here we have theta is also we have been given that theta is positive in our question it is mentioned and n cannot be a negative number so this whole function cannot be a negative and since this is a multiplied with a minus one sign so this makes the whole function negative 
and since this is negative then we have this theta value but what we will get from this first derivative will be a maxima so what we will get from this uh, first derivative value will be a maxima so let us solve this what we can do is we can simply uh, equate this to zero so we have n by theta plus summation ln x i is equal to zero so from here we can find the value of theta cap so i am doing this over here so this will be n by theta is equal to minus summation ln x i now cross multiplying we get theta is equal to minus n divided by summation ln x i so this will be the value of theta cap which is the point of maxima so this is the point of maxima which is theta hat is equal to minus n divided by summation uh, ln x i so basically this is the answer to our question the mle of theta that is theta hat that i have written over here now let's check the options we have minus n in the numerator so you can check only option a has minus n in the numerator and in the denominator you can see summation log e x i so this is summation law ln x i so this is the same thing so option a will be the correct answer to this question so here we have solved two questions of this question paper now i like to end this video here you will find more solutions of k 2019 question paper in our further videos